Yeah, we're the only organisation working with visual art or contemporary art in, in Yarmouth. So, and for a lot of people, that doesn't mean anything. They don't care. So downstairs, we have quite often have table tennis table out and spaces that people can just come and make a cup of tea or coffee or hang out and then they might accidentally look at some art. We're on the first floor of a former Debenhams in Great Yarmouth. It's a space we've called Prime Yark. And yeah, yeah. So basically everyone thinks of the, the solution to all Great Yarmouth problems is to install a Prime Yark in the town centre. So we're playing with that. Yeah, so on the ground floor we have a gallery space, which we, we call a gallery space for the basic, <laughs> just to be able to understand what it does, but actually it's a more of a sort of, it's our public area, so people can come in off the, um, and um, find us accidentally, or they can come and seek out our ex exhibitions, but, um, you know, we also host workshops and anything else that can be sort of public facing, whereas upstairs everything's very much for the artistic community that are based here. We want to normalise the experience of coming into a space like this. We're not an institution. Um, and if people encounter high arts, uh, contemporary art, because they have been able to engage with something that is more familiar or been produced by somebody they know, then that sort of like solves two things at once. We work with what is here. So, you know, yeah, there's lots of people who are trying things out, who are making craft, who are hobbyists. And supporting those or sort of showing them feels feels relevant and feels like, yeah, I, I don't know, a gateway. But we never planned on having a space. A space is a, a means to kind of creating a community or, or having something that's kind of dedicated and committed that, so people can come to you to sort of say, I do this. What's, what's, have you got an outlet for me? Um, whereas, you know, our intention was to um, do work it work in Great Yarmouth in a very nomadic way and explore the place and kind of reveal uh, new stories and have some excitement around its kind of its texture, its customs, its flavours, its sounds, that sort of thing, which we still do. Um, but having a, and but, but recognising how do you find your people amongst that and how do you kind of establish an, an audience if you're having to recreate that every single time you pop up somewhere new. So having a space was a means to doing that. Also, like, you know, creating space for artists to be and to kind of think there is a place for them in a place like Great Yarmouth, which perhaps wouldn't have existed previously. So and where, we don't know where that's going to go, but it definitely sort of creates, you know, the word critical mass is sort of helpful, but it's also like adds a, something to the look and the feel and the sort of vibrancy and the vim of the town. Our biggest problem is capacity, because this is the organisation. <laughs> looking at it. Um, God, big questions. <laughs> Straight in with the big questions. Why do we do that? Why are we still doing this? That is the question. Yeah.